happy to be back with you. Um, I thought I would try sort of a vlog style video this weekend. I'm going to visit my husband um, while he's away for work because he's on uh, duty for work 10 days on, four days off and comes home um, on those four days usually when he's traveling. So. Uh, this weekend, or this this whole week, he's been at, in Atlanta, and I'm driving to meet up with him and spend the weekend with him in Atlanta. Um, this is the first time I've done this, so um, it's kind of unusual. It's a little, you know, new, obviously. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd take you along for the ride and see what kind of adventures we can get into this weekend together. Um, we always have a good time. So, yeah, I hope you like it. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Give me some comments and feedback. And tell me if you like this style of video. And I'll do more. Um, so, enjoy. Hello again. So, I am still on the road. And I've been driving about three hours. Maybe a little less. Um, yeah, about three hours. And... I've got a little less than four hours to go, and I'm listening to um, Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People on Scribd, S-C-R-I-B-D is the app, and Scribd.com, which is, um, I love, it's, it's just, I can't, I, I'm not paid <laughs> to, like, promote them or anything, but I do get a free month if you, if, um, you know, if I have friends sign up with my link. Um, and if you do that, you get two months for free. So I love telling people about it, but it just, I would tell you about it anyway, because it's so great to get unlimited eBooks and audiobooks for $8.99 a month. Like I just, it's just so much fun to like look for a book and find it on there and be like, I get this for free. Like I don't have to pay for it. It's so cool. And I love audiobooks, as you can see. Um, get way more done that way in terms of reading. Um, and I love hearing the author's voices. It's awesome. So it's actually read by Stephen Covey. So, um, yeah, so this is an interesting experience. I've never driven this far to go see my husband. And he called me earlier and he said, it had just like dawned on him he hadn't really thought about it I mean he always makes like all our travel plans and everything so he kind of you know came up with this whole plan and everything and um, you know made sure I, I did everything I needed to do to, to get ready for it and I knew what time you know everything would happen and all that but um, he, he hadn't really thought about the fact that I was driving so much just to spend um, like tonight and then tomorrow and tomorrow night and then leaving again Sunday morning um, you know just to spend that time with him so he called and he's like oh my gosh you must be really in love with someone I'm like what where are you <laughs> it's totally out of the blue I'm like yeah you I, I yes I'm in love with you where's this going um, but he had just talked to his boss and and his and his boss like could not believe like you know was asking you know, the details of the situation because my husband just kind of mentioned it casually that I was driving and he's like, oh yeah, how far? And, uh, and he told him and he's like, no way, what? No. <laughs> um, he couldn't believe that a wife would be doing that. So yeah, so we both like hadn't really thought about that because, um, we just kind of do stuff like this to be together. Um, but yeah, so that was interesting. And uh, in two miles, use and I'm the right lane to take exit 910 going to have to exit the highway here in a second, so I'm going to go. But uh, just, yeah, just thought I'd update you on my progress so far. I'll talk to you later. Hello again. Um, at the hotel, I made it last night. It was pretty late. Um, but we were really, really happy to see each other, and it wasn't that bad of a drive. <laughs> the last, you know, hour or so was um, probably the worst part, just feeling like I was close, but 
watching the minutes tick very slowly by so but I made it um, in the hotel and it is not like a super fancy hotel or anything um, usually they're nicer than this but um, it was so great to have my husband with his arms around me last night and um, we get to have some time together today he's um, he has a claim like one assignment in the morning and his second assignment got canceled for this afternoon so um, we should be able to spend you know, be together from noon on tonight so that's great and we're excited about that he's he's out doing that claim like I said and I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and do some work so um, I'll I was gonna show you my outfit. It's nothing fancy, but <laughs> just to document the so, weekend. Here's my outfit. <laughs> I wear these boots all the all the time. I wear these jeans all the time. I wear this sweater all the time. I wear this necklace all the time. Just sort of my basic soccer mom uniform. It's really cold today, which I was not expecting in Atlanta. Um, it just some kind of cold front came through. But so yeah, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop now. And y'all have a great day. Okay, so this is the little main street um, at the coffee shop where Derek told me to go. It is so cute. It's like Old Town is what it is. Everything says Old Town, so super adorable. I just thought it was really cute. And I would get a little bit of video of me walking to the coffee shop. So we had a delicious sushi dinner with Derek's work buddy and his wife right there at Kona Grill and took some pictures. Um, they're getting ready to have a baby, talked about that, um, had some dessert and some coffee and then headed over to the sculpture out in front which Derek's brother-in-law had helped build. Um, so here's the sculpture that his brother-in-law helped build and we just took a couple of pictures outside that and then went to head over to another sculpture that his brother-in-law built but this one he was the actual artist on instead of just helping to build it so that was fun to check it out really beautiful it's a beautiful gorgeous day and the area is really super nice the part of Atlanta that we were in so the artist's name in case you're curious his name is Mark Wentz and this one's called Crescendo, Mark America Wentz, and his company is called America Fabrication and Design. So then we went for a drive around the beautiful neighborhoods of Buckhead 
in Atlanta. Super, super nice. I missed most of like the very best looking like houses and streets. Um, but as you can see, they're super beautiful, um, like mansions and properties. And yeah, just lovely area of the South. Got to check it out. So next we went to this crazy cool place um, after we drove around for a while, but um, this one, it's called DeKalb Farmer's Market. This huge, ginormous building that has just every type of groceries that you could ever hope for. I mean, live fish, they, they stand right there and butch butcher everything for you, like to order um, all the fish, all the meat, um, just like everything, like so many things I can't, I cannot find any of these things near me where I live in Roanoke. So this was super, super cool. And we ended up getting like all of these fancy um, gourmet kind of snacks, like a picnic we put together for back at the hotel. Um, we got... I mean, they make all of this stuff in-house, like all of these gluten-free pastries, pastas, pizzas. I couldn't believe all the stuff they made. Just really incredible. Um, but what we bought was like pate, foie gras pate, and um, brie cheese with like truffles and um, some fresh baked French bread. They break, bake all of their bread right there in house. Um, let's see what else did we get. Here's the bread. They had every kind. Oh, we got some cookies too. Some some chocolate chip cookies they make there. And Derek got some uh, exotic fruit. This like milk apple, I think, is what it was called. It was really interesting and unique. <laughs> So yeah, this place is awesome and just has everything. So I did buy some goodies to take home to my girls. They also fresh press all their own juice there. Crazy, just right there in front of you, there's a, a juice press. And Derek really wanted some peaches, of course, because we were in Georgia, but the peaches were from Chile <laughs> and they were not super fresh, so he wasn't excited about those. So we took everything back to the hotel for our little picnic. We have these freshly made cookies, um, some treats to take home for the girls, fresh French bread, truffle brie, just all the fanciest like things that would be normally so expensive, <laughs> caviar. I mean, these prices are amazing and the stuff is just so high quality. Like they make the smoked salmon right there, foie gras pâté, just the fanciest little hotel picnic you've ever seen. It was so good. I did not get very good pictures, so sorry about that, but that was my weekend in Atlanta with my husband. Thank you so much for joining me for my first ever travel vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, and make sure to check out the links in the description. Just want to know about dating relationships or marriage whatever is the biggest issue on your mind or biggest question you have let me know and I will send you an invitation to uh, that master class which is $127 value and you will get that for free if you tell me your question but make sure that you subscribe so that I have your email address to send you the invitation for that so thanks again for joining me um, now I'm actually in Florida with my in-laws for 
my sister-in-law's um, birthday girls trip so having a great weekend now that's where I am at their condo so thanks again for joining me I'm really um, glad to share with you and see you next time